Welcome back to another video. ANC leaders are now instructing Saramaphosa to sign the Bella uh, bill. You know, just like Banyaza, Figlian Palula also publicly said that he wants Saramaphosa to sign that bill. Despite the DA, you know, in unity with the ANC, they don't care about that. They are willing to oppose it, as Figlian Palula said it, you know. Banyaza also said that Serama Posa must sign that bill and they will see the rest later. For continuous to be a fever, do not forget to subscribe for more test updates. So I want you guys to listen to what Figilium Palula was saying, you know. It seems like this ANC is just in coalition with the DA, but there are so many disagreements, guys. You know, now they might compromise a lot. These two parties might compromise a lot, but in the future, I just see a lot of uh, internal conflicts within the GNU. Already the conflicts are starting, but now it's only indirect conflicts. But I see a lot of uh, um, upcoming, you know, conflicts within the GNU. Listen to what Figilium Balula said. Would you like to see the president sign the bill? Yes. The Bella bill, that is. Yes, would like to Do see the Do you know why president. he hasn't signed it as yet? I cannot uh, speak for the president. He applies his mind on any bill. Uh, so, so if uh, the president uh, uh, was uh, to send back the Bella bill to parliament, that wouldn't be a sellout position? No, you must understand, president have sent back bills, mm. uh, including when I was minister, Land Transport Act, in terms of its amendment, particularly in terms of e-hailing. That's normal within government functioning and the president's powers. So if we send it back, there will be reasons for that. But for where it is, would like it signed because it represents the way forward in relation to uh, basic education in our country. And, it, and all I was saying is that uh, I don't expect the DA now that they are part of the GNU uh, not to stand and oppose NHI as they did in the past. They will try, but we will, we will, will oppose that. Mm. Uh, in terms of the GNU and uh, going forward. So it's not a melting pot. GNU. It's, okay. Now, as per Figilim Palula, it seems like they really want this uh, bill to be implemented, but there is obviously going to be conflicts, uh, especially coming from the DA. Helen Zille once made it clear that this bill shouldn't be signed by the president, and now Banyaza Lisufi went in parliament, started saying to president, make sure that you sign that bill. And when I saw Paul Mashatile's face, I was 100% sure that, you know, he is against what, you know, Abanyaza was saying. You know, it seems like there is uh, something that is stopping them from signing this bill. And it is probably Helen Zille as per rumors, guys. You know, we cannot really, you know, say, uh, we cannot really confirm that it is Helen Zille. But as Gweta Mandashi also said, you know, she is, you know, um, fighting with uh, Sarama Posa for presidency. It seems like she has been instructing Sarama Posa not to do certain stuff, you know. And I'm also assuming because the DA was against this appeal, they will make sure that they tell Sarama Posa not to sign it. The fact that Sarama Posa went to coalition with the DA despite the ANC leaders opposing him, it, it doesn't mean that even now with this bill, he will still not do the same. He would if he like, you know. It all depends on what the DA is saying. I think Saramaphosa doesn't care about other political parties. The only political party, you know, which has him on their pockets is the DA, you know. Even the speech uh, by Saramaphosa on the opening parliament, you know, that's what people were saying. Rumors were saying Helen uh, instructed that, that, um, that statement, you know, the speech by Saramaphosa, even uh, Julius Malema said that the speech was written by Helen Zilia. So there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of rumors about Saramaphosa and the DA, you know, especially Helen Zilia, you know. Now with Figilian Balula saying that disregardless of the opposition, the DA, you know, they would still, you know, sign that bill, you know. The DA, according to Figilian Balula, is not really of a serious problem but i do not feel the same because ramaphosa and the da guys we all know we all know that Cyril, you know takes orders from um helen zil i just hope that he you know signed that bill as the as this leaders you know instructed him to do so you know thank you so much for watching you guys your thoughts in the comment section below what you think it do not forget subscribe for more interesting videos for my channel